money is one of those emotional. We're, we're taught from an early age. It's not polite to ask people about money. Right. Right. It's kind of one of those odd things. I wonder if that's got something to do with our one point seven trillion dollars <laughs> debt. Right. <laughs> maybe maybe we ought to flip the script here. Maybe we ought to start talking about money every single day. Right. <laughs> maybe right. these teachers and maybe the parents that are advocating for college. Idea. Maybe they should talk about money every freaking day, every minute of the day to get this problem under control. Right. Maybe the president of the university that's raising tuition 8% a year. Th- there was this great comedian. Remember I sent you that text? John Mulaney. Talk about that. I thought that was pretty wild. I never saw the guy before. Talk about it, the gist of his skit. The lead into, the, the lead into this part of his uh, uh, little comedy thing was um, uh, he basically said, uh, you know, I got a letter the other day from my college. And... I looked at it and I said, well, this is interesting. My college is sending me a letter. I wonder why they're sending me a letter. So I, I open it up and it turns out that my college is asking me for some money. They want me to, as a gift, they want me to give them some money. But, and he, after he, he graduated. He, after he graduated. And he goes into the whole thing. It is, it is hilarious. But he goes into the whole thing about, well, okay, I, I didn't understand this right at the moment because... You know, I gave you money. I gave you $120,000, okay? That was $15,000 a semester for eight semesters, okay? I gave you a lot of money, okay? What, the, uh, why are you asking me for more money? And he just, it just goes on and on and on. And what's interesting is that the crowd reaction was, I mean, th- there was an uproar. They just they, they got thought it. it was fantastic. They, exactly, they, they got, got it. it. But it was well, part it was of it, very poignant and very much to the point. And it, you know, when you sent that to me, I know why you sent it to me because it it really points to the brick by brick program. Program, and in essence, one of the reasons why that brick by brick program is where it is. Well, I think I think part of having the uh, these are uncomfortable conversations we have to start having sure. with our kids, with teachers, with the system. We got to start having these uncomfortable. You know, this is a college dilemma type of thing. Right. I bet if we put ten different people in a room, let's just say five had degrees, five don't have degrees, I think everyone's going to be uncomfortable. I can picture my own family. I can picture my close friends, all of which, by the way, had degrees. Um, this entire conversation is going to make people uncomfortable. Oh, in their mind, they're thinking, yeah, "There's I'm, no way juniors not going no to college." No question about it. No they might not say it. it, but they are. That's going on in their mind, and they're thinking about, "Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but." Yeah, but the socialization. Yeah, but look at all the people you're going to meet. Yeah, but the alumni network. There's yeah, buts going on 10 different ways. And as I talk about $1.7 trillion of debt, can a 17-year-old make this decision? Do they know what the debt payments are going to be? Do they understand the time value of money and then paying a loan for 20 years versus putting the money in the stock market? All of these things are colliding at once. So these are tough decisions. Tough, not tough decisions. These are uncomfortable discussions. But maybe we're not having enough of those uncomfortable discussions because we got a real problem here. And we didn't just get into $1.7 trillion by accident. 